Are you curious about what's about to happen with that four-letter word? That four-letter word being rate. I'm really curious to see. I have my hunches and I have my projections that are expert-based, but I'm foreseeing, obviously, an increase in buyers entering the market and increase of inventory entering the market, especially in May. May's a very typical high volume month where most homes tend to be the highest that are listed as far as volume in the May months. It's um, before summer where kids get out of school. It's before they go back to school. You've got comps from the spring um, that you're able to capitalize on. So today I really want to give you a clear picture moving forward exactly what the market's doing in the Portland, Oregon and the Vancouver, Washington metro markets. Um, so I can tell you closing out in February, um, new listings were actually down just over 13% in Portland, Oregon. And you saw a very similar trend in the Vancouver, Washington market of about 14.2%. The interesting thing and the main difference that we're seeing right now between the Portland, Oregon and the Vancouver, Washington metro markets is that uh, time on market. Time on market in the Portland, Oregon um, metro markets is um, up 17.3%. However, in Vancouver, Washington, time on market is actually down 12.3%. So it, that may be alluding to the fact that, that the Vancouver, Washington market may be a little bit more of a competitive market um, right now and with more buyers buying in the Vancouver metro market. We'll see what future stats say, but that's a pretty good indicator that signifies that. Now, pending sales are up in both markets, in the Portland, Oregon, and the Vancouver metro market, just under 2%. And the average sales price is down just a smidge. I mean, I don't know if it even warrants it saying down, but in the Portland, Oregon, just um, about 1%. And in the Vancouver, Washington, just under 1% at 0.8. And closed sales are up in the Portland, Oregon. So homes are selling, which just reiterates what I've been saying about making sure if you're selling your home, make sure it's in that top percentage of homes um, that show well. And we can talk more about that um, and some strategies around that. But homes is still selling. Again, in the Portland, Oregon metro market, you're up about 27% on the last week of February versus the previous week. All these numbers I should mention are all based off the previous week in February. So the third week in February. And then in Vancouver, the, the Washington metro market, the closed sales are up 31%. So again, you're seeing that trend of increased sales, not only in pending sales um, and time on market in Vancouver, Washington, but with closed sales as well. So it'll be really interesting to see how this evolves as we head into the spring months and into the summer months. And median prices down a little bit in the Bank, Portland, Vancouver, uh, Portland, Oregon area of 1.5% and Vancouver, Washington up 5.6. So Vancouver is really showing some promise as a really a little stronger market than the Portland, Oregon market right now. Now to learn more about your neighborhood specifics and the best way to position you in the market, book a call with me by clicking the link below.